Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ, the living God. Welcome to Jesus God Incarnate Ministries, where I talk all things Jesus. So I'll give you the best biblical explanations to the to what God has revealed to me right now. So it shall evolve and grow in the future and whatnot. But if you want these kind of things, like, subscribe, share, because it's not always you that needs it. It's, it's someone else, maybe, right? Whoever, whoever God uses, right? Like however God might use it. And you never know where somebody is in, in terms of how God is speaking to them or where God wants to take them, right? So it could be, they, they don't even need to see a video, right? They, they somebody might just need to see a scripture sometimes right somebody might just need to 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 see that somebody is is thinking about them and then send them a video like this or like somebody else and they don't even need to watch it right they, they just need to see that somebody is sending them um something and then if they watch it even more so because they will be added on to right so come right along let's talk so this is a question for mormons right um so my question basically lies to 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 the um the foundation right of mormonism stems from the bible right and 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 and, and i'll give a quick general kind of overview of of like the stance of mormons in 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 this in uh this specific like discussion i guess i should say or talk not really discussion but so generally generally speaking mormons believe that the bible was corrupted in some parts so then um and because the apostles died right the the teachings died with them so to speak right and when they died right uh god basically like waited that time period and then joseph smith came along and was like i don't really feel like all these churches are right god i need you to basically tell me what church is right and then he tells him start this church the book the the, the, the church of mormonism and and, and, and latter-day sense right that's like the quick overview right there's some you know details that that uh that are missing just due to time that's it due to time so, but that's the general thing. This is co me coming from speaking with elders, uh, going to multiple different wards, going to like having uh, the, the, some of the key holders explain this to me. Uh, like I've studied with Mormons for a while. I've studied the, the Mormon religion for a while. So this isn't just me like saying like, oh, I had one conversation. No, I had years of like, you know, kind of building the knowledge of this stuff right so i'm not speaking completely from ignorance so i've i've gathered enough information to safely say i can i know a little bit about the history right so i say that to say that um one you can trust my word and if you don't ah which you should do anyways go always 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 listen always cross-reference what i say i don't want you to just take it oh ah he said this blah 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 blah. no 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 no. i don't care if it's your pastor i don't care if it's your dad or your mom or your spiritual head leader all right always cross-reference what they were what you were told just as in acts the Bruin jews were more noble than the ones in thelicinica because they even cross-referenced paul the apostle okay even though they knew he was sent from god Okay, so always cross-reference what everybody says, even me, even yourself, right? So I say that to say that just as Jesus says that a good tree does not bear bad fruit and vice versa. A bad tree does not bear good fruit. So I'm going to take a, a similar stance and say that if the foundation, listen, I, I, I genuinely want Mormons to, to, to think about this question because there, there seems to always be some kind of, it's, it's contradictory I, and I'll explain in a second. So if, if the basis which the Book of Mormon comes from is corrupted, do, do you see where I'm going? 
then that's a bad tree. And bad trees don't bear good fruit, right? So if you are coming, okay, so for example, if you have bad soil and you try to, you do everything you, you, you need to have a good tree, it's not gonna be as good as if it was on good soil, right? So, so the Bible, right, for some reason, is still it, it, it's it's weird right because the book of mormon quite literally is the third testament according to the to, to the latter-day saints of the bible the old and the new testament right but if the belief is there that the old testament and the new testament possibly has some corruption in it the book of mormon is also standing on a corrupted foundation and that's not good folks that's not good it's self-explanatory but that's where i kind of get confused and be like okay if your if your foundation is corrupt which stems your book then your book must be corrupt but then you still hold on to the foundation as if it's not corrupt and then that's where I'm just like, that, that doesn't really make any sense. It's like, ah, oh, well, yeah, I know it's poison, but I'm still gonna drink it. But this poison's gonna help me, even though I know poison is bad for your body, but this poison is gonna save me, even though I know poison kills you, right? That That's literally like what kind of happens there, right? So that's really my question. Like, how can, cause, cause, okay, so, you, you you might ask a Mormon, right? Or somebody that, that, that believes the Bible is corrupt, yet they still believe in the principles of the Bible, right? You might ask them, okay, so the, you, you'll have a discussion. Oh, so you believe the, 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 the Bible is corrupt, right? The old and new is possibly corrupt. Yeah, 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 it's possibly corrupt. And it is corrupted in some parts. We just don't know where. Okay, if you don't know where it's corrupt, then how can you tell what a sin is? Oh, well, we go to the, the, the Ten Commandments in the Old Testament and then we look at what God kind of like makes, draws a line of like, okay, this transgression, this is this is good. This is uh, unrighteous. This is righteous, right? So, but then if you do that, you're using a corrupt book to justify like, like what, you see what I'm saying? It's like, I can't do that. That doesn't make any sense because I cannot openly start drinking poison and then be convinced that it's good for you knowing that poison kills and then you drink it expecting for it to save you even though you know poison kills you right do, 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 do you see what i'm saying so that's my question like if i just keep talking i'm just going to keep reiterating in other ways so like is is there any possible way that the Book of Mormon can stand on a firm foundation if the foundation that it stood that it, it stemmed from is corrupt? I don't think so. And if it if it can, then you don't really need the the, the Book of Mormon. You just need the the foundation itself, and then that's it. You see what I'm saying? It's it's weird, right? It's I'm like how how do you how can you just do that? Like I I don't like I don't know. I don't. Like, I don't care if you felt the burning of the bosom. I don't care about that. If the foundation is corrupt, yo, the foundation is corrupt, you know? So, like, like for example, if you say, oh, I grew up in this house, right? Like, let, let, let's say there was a house, right? And then years later, you guys find out it has a bad foundation. And you guys have to destroy the house and fix the foundation from the ground up. But then you're like, oh, well, I grew up in this house. I don't care about the foundation, what you might possibly die or the family or whatever might get hurt right you have to tear it down and then build a new foundation okay so it's kind of like that it's like oh and then you talk to the mormon or, or whoever believes it's corrupted that they still take truths from that same corruption and then they're like well i don't really care if it's corrupt i use it anyways what i guess okay like, I don't know what to say after that because now you're just waddling in your own pride and your own whatever, you know? So so that's that's the part that confuses me. So if there's a Mormon that, that is going to comment below and like thoroughly explain how this can actually happen, 
please do explain because I'm genuinely like curious like that that's why like a lot of the times when I see a lot of things like you know like uh seven day Adventists or this or this or or whatever um uh denomination of Christianity and they have a huge red flag right I'm just like ah Okay, please explain that red flag before I just waddle up in here and give you my all my services, right? You know? So it's like, if... I will admit, many churches have a lot of stuff wrong. But some of the stuff is just like, ah, okay, that's cool. Ah, whatever. You know, ah, whatever. That's just a personal kind of, like, like interpretation, right? But there's huge red flags that kind of happen, right? That's, that's really what I'm asking. So if any Mormon like comments below and thoroughly explains this to me, so it makes sense, that, that would be really nice. That would be really nice. Like I'm, I'm not even trying to, you know, like start an argument. I'm just like literally genuinely trying to ask, like, how is that even possible, right? Logically speaking. So there you go. If you like these videos, stay up, get blessed, come back, subscribe, like, share, and all that. Yay.